Hello and welcome to Broken Sword 2. One of the better uh, um, Broken Sword games. I enjoyed this one more than Broken Sword 1 and 3. I haven't played 4 yet, so I don't know about anything about 4. But I have played 1, I've played 3, and I've played a bit of 5. But 2 is always going to be my favourite. So, let us begin. Jungle. I haven't played this in months, but hopefully I can remember the puzzle answers. <laughs> well, not months, say two years. This must be the place, Professor Ubiu's house. It looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I'm playing this on the PC. I, I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. I played this on the PS1 when I... Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching a story. And I actually enjoyed it on the PS1. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. Do you, George? Good. And here we go. Right, let's start this. Can't stamp on the spider because it moves back. I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of How to Deal with Poisonous Spiders While Tied to a Chair. No such luck. But I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Uh, Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. One dead of course, spider. I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. Well, it's not actually burning that much, it's just literally by the door. With one mighty bound, our hero was free. Now, I had to deal with that fire. Well, I just realised, it's like that, that, that fire that's all the way over here is literally just by the door. If it was actually burning that the much, drawer was a small the rug pot. would be on fire, the wooden floor would be on fire, and so would the curtain when the fire reaches it, but for the time being, it, it, nothing exactly um, hitting it. The pot there contained we go. a key. My mouse 
but in a stein to act cut. Uh, need this. Inside, I found a bottle of tequila. Followed by normally, this. Normally, I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Ew. Disgusting. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, I just managed to stop myself from swallowing the worm. There was something short, fleshy, and gross on the carpet. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. But you still pick it up and put it in your coat. That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end. But this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. Okay, what's in Nico's bag? Nico's the woman that got dragged off. It was a stylish little canvas number containing a lipstick, a handwritten note, and a pair of nylon panties with a large love heart emblazoned across the front. It occurred to me that Nico's tastes must have really changed while I was away. Mm, sure, well, that George. They could be useful. Oh, yeah, let's take some panties that might be useful. Now, that's what they look like. Hmm, that's questionable. I guess I had no business reading the note, but I figured it might give me a clue to what Nico was involved in. It was from Andre Labano, the history student Nico had known at college. The letter was sentimental mush, and revealed that the exotic lingerie, as he called it, was a gift from him. It gave his telephone number. Labano figured himself as a rival for Nico's affections, but I couldn't believe that that creep was in the running. Of course he's in the running. Right. Now, this is what I mean. Look at this fire. If it was a proper fire, it would. It, I know it's not exactly going by lifetime standards, but that fire would have been at this end of the road by now. As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. That cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my bare hands. Mm, what to pick it up with? Out of everything we got in my inventory, what is the best thing to pick up a very hot cylinder? Oh yeah. The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap around the hot cylinder. And then we need the cylinder to go into that. The cylinder gave out a faint hiss as the valve opened. Mm. Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. Yeah. The Alain squirt of the soda fountain. Our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red hot doorknob, and it wasn't the time for subtlety. And we are out of room number one. Woohoo! Freedom! 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 Let's open the door. Mm. I unlocked the door. I would like. The broken sword trilogy, the, the broken sword games to be re-released onto the f onto the four, because they are really good point-and-click games. I found a piece of newspaper folded in two. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. The best place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. I think the thing about the broken sword games is that they are really good point-and-clicks. You got a very good storyline. You. It was the newspaper clipping referring to and the imminent eclipse. Anything Rack can happen in these games. Was another small if you get, the, get it right. It was a bank statement for Ubier's account from an automatic telling machine. 
The last five withdrawals were for large amounts, and all made in Marseille. Much as I disliked him, Labano might be my only hope of finding Nico. Hi, Andre. Who is he? It's George Stobart, Nico's boyfriend. I was waiting for the same line busy. Boyfriend? <laughs> Look, I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested in you? Listen, Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Andre? You'd better show, you creep. I felt an irrational urge to wipe my ear. Now, the cafe he's referencing is from Broken Sword 1. I will be playing Broken Sword 1 at some point. The reason I want to play Broken Sword 2 is because 2 is my best one. I wasn't looking forward to meeting Labano again, but he was my only link with Nico. So, I'm going to I'm gonna end it. And then... There was no sign of Lavin at the cafe. Done. I decided to order a coffee and wait for him. Alright, I'm going to end it here for the first part because this is a really, really good game and I want to make sure this is as long as it takes. So, thank you so much for watching this one. And, uh... We will get back to it in the next one.